no matter what the occasion, Winksy usually turns up looking like a football agent. So. <laughs> What does that mean? Uh, no, it's not a bad thing. Okay. It's very smart and you know, never, never really casual. Um, I guess then the question is uh, moving on to non-clothing matters. Um, one thing that, because I did one of these before with um, Eric Dyer, Ben Davis, and it was handshakes came up, right? And Sonny's handshakes. What is it harder to do? Take a penalty or learn one of Sonny's handshakes. For weeks he take a penalty. No. I've never taken a penalty. No, no. How, how much time does Sonny spend on these handshakes? This is an art form in itself. Um, I don't know. Usually, like, you'll have a handshake with maybe one or two people, but Sonny has one with everyone, so... It's impressive, mate, now. He comes in every morning and he just... To every different player, he has a, a certain handshake and he knows it off the top of his head. You know, even after international break, he's he's back in and he remembers everything. So he's yeah, I don't know how he does it. Has it ever been mentioned that perhaps the focus needs to be on the football as opposed to learning <laughs> 22 handshakes? He's an amazing player. We love Sonny, but that is a lot of head space to learn all those handshakes. Well, he does it on the pitch as well. So he's a he's a good point. Well player. made. He definitely he, does. He yeah, definitely so. does. Um, the question about, because both of you know what it feels like, of course every athlete does to, to be injured. What's, what's more difficult to get back on track? Your body or your mind after an injury? Time for I'll the D questions now. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think as a footballer obviously there's a lot of bias and the biggest load, like you said, is being injured. But um, I think the way you come back from it and the way you treat the injury, because obviously it's your devastating to be out but at the same time it's a great opportunity to work on things that you wouldn't be able to with you know the number of games you have to play so as long as you don't have too many uh, mentally it's not that tough if it's not too long but you know I think it's just the way you treat it and the way you focus it and you know just making sure that and there's a cliche but when you come back you are stronger than what you was before so. and that of course has to be physically and mentally doesn't it um Harry yeah. After injuries, because I've been told by someone in Spurs once that you know when you can, no player likes to be injured, but you, know, you personally, it's your your desire to get back on that pitch. Yeah, you know, like they all said, when you're injured, it's it's hard. You know, so um, I'm a nightmare to work with when I'm injured as well because I just want to be out training. And it's I'm uh, glad you said that. Not <laughs> it's uh, it's frustrating, of course, but it's part of the game. So you know, like Debbie said, when you're injured, and it's a good opportunity to get yourself. Uh, fitter and get yourself you know, stronger in areas that you probably don't really improve when, 